What's up challengers, welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo and this is my blind Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play, episode three. And we are going, uh, we're in Icky Town and we're here just in time for the Festivus. The, it's actually called just a, a festival. Uh, but everyone here, uh, according to last episode, everyone here goes all out. And uh, I'm just gonna go check out my boy. He's got his lit in, walking around following him. I wish. Poplio would pop out. Well, P, say hello. Oh, Geo, how? Well, no, he goes, how's it, Geo? His name is How. How is it? <laughs> Man, I thought you'd never make it. Me and Linton been waiting for ages. Nah. Man, Linton's mean. Hold on. Didn't anybody explain to you about tonight? Oh, good, Kakui's here. Oh yeah, right on time. But to what exactly? Oh, it's Nebby! <laughs> Come on out, Nebby. The full-powered festival of Pokemon battling. We battle in the name of Tapacoco. Pitting our best moves against one another in a friendly competition to please our guardian, Woo. So, you two will be taking part in the battle? I don't like seeing Pokemon fight with one another since they so often end up getting hurt. But this is an this seems like an important event, so I'll be sure to watch you both. Your Pokemon have fought for you, so show them you can return, Geo. Allow me to heal you for this time. I didn't really need that, but I'll take it, you know. Are you ready for this Pokemon battle? Yes. Then let's begin. Ow. I wonder if my neck popping shows up on the, uh... On the microphone. For all life on our islands... And for those who undertake the island challenge with joy in their hearts, we pray for your protection. For them and all melee melee. May this Pokemon battle be an offering to our island guardian deity Tapu Koko. Before your stands, how grandson to the Kahuna. Before him stands Geo, one who has met with Tapu Koko. Oh, what? Wow, what a curious thing Tapu Koko is. <laughs> That's typical of it. <laughs> Pop Leo, take care of little Geo. As long as we both have a good time, then I think we can call it a great battle, eh? Geo just sits there like a mean. Geo, how? Bring forth the power of your Pokemon. What if he leads with like a ball ass Litten and I just. I follow up with like my Metapod and I just start hardening on it. See, he's got a Pichu also, but so do I. Now, if I was playing for real, I'd check to see. I'm assuming I'm static, but maybe there's new abilities. I haven't really checked any of the abilities of my Pokemon. And uh, ordinarily, I would. Here's what I will do. I'll check to see whether or not Coach has got... Uh, Ch Coach does have Thundershock. Uh, oh, that's super cool. It shows whether or not it's effective. So not very effective. And all I got is charm. And static is my ability. So static, uh, if, if they make contact with me, I have a chance to paralyze them. But I'm not feeling that. Goose is super low level. You know what? Let's just stick with Poplio because... Let's just stick with Poplio. Water Gun is my highest damage attack. Pretty sure it'll two hit KO. And uh, a Thunder Shock. Thunder Shock's only. Uh, I don't even remember its strength, but. And he's gonna go for Charm anyway, so he didn't even take the opportunity to hit me with the super effective. So it was a ballsy move. Um, I kind of. He over predicted me there. He wanted to hit me with that Charm on the Switch. I'm gonna narrate all this like it's like crazy competitive, but. I do get that two hit KO. Uh, pretty sure that was a roll in my favor. But we're going to take that 40 EXP to the bank. We're going to put it in the bank. Uh, long term deposit. And um, hopefully generate a little return on that interest. You know what I mean? Litten's level 7. Uh, below my current level. And Water Gun's super effective. So he's still just hitting me with that Ember. He's got to outspeed me even though he's one level below me. But he's hitting me for naught. Well, I hit him for yay, verily. 
Still not quite a two-hit KO, uh, and because of Charm, there's no point in me going for a pound here. And because I got healed, I'm not really worried about my PP. So he's gonna hit me with that Ember times two. Going for that burn, only a 10% chance on it. Actually, I don't think Ember burns. Now that I think about it. But Litten goes down. That's gonna be a good amount of EXP. I'm feeling that. 81. Will P dings again. Uh, getting some boost and yeah, it looks to me like I'm really curious. I need to check what my um what my nature is to see what's increased and what's lowered. <laughs> what? It's already over. <laughs> Hooey! Another great battle this year. I bet Tapu Koko liked it too. Phew, that was awesome, Geo. That was a really great battle. I had a blast fighting you. It was a good battle. With this, even Tapu Koko. Coo coo coo! Oh, you heard it yourself. Tapu Koko's song of approval. No, I nearly forgot. I think it's time you take this, Geo. What's he got? What you got, huh? A Z ring. So is this how I mega evolve in this game? Your Z ring, a mysterious armband that can draw out the power that lies deep within Pokemon. It can bring forth the Z power. So bring forth the power of the Pokemon to like mega evolve. I'm assuming that's our mega evolve thing. Maybe they just named it something different. We Kahunas can make them by refining stones like Sparkling Stone, which in the previous game, Sparkling, we found like a shiny stone, you took it to Rustbrewer and the guy identified it and it became a Pidgeot. That's one of the ways you got one of the Mega Stones, so, uh, yeah. Although until you collect more Z Crystals during your Island Challenge, you will not be able to draw out the Z power of your Pokémon. You know, it could be a new thing. It might not be, because they're, they're really not saying Mega. And they well, like called it Mega Stones, Mega Bracelet. So maybe it is maybe it is something new. But maybe it's like the same thing as Mega Evolution. I don't know. Maybe they got rid of Mega Evolution. I hope they didn't. But And yet you have already received that Sparkling Stone. It seems Tapu Koko took quite a liking to you. Or perhaps it has a mission for you. In other words, it's time for you to get out of here and start your island challenge. If you visit every island, maybe you'll figure out what that mission is. What is the island challenge? Four islands. You'll travel to each of the four islands here in the Alola region. The island challenge is about aiming to be the strongest trainer. The island challenge champion. Woo. Sounds great, right? I can't wait to have a real adventure. I'll explain about the island challenge later. Well, that was fun. What's up, Lily? Tapu Coco is amazing, isn't it? I hope I can meet it again someday and thank it for saving Nebby. Pew! No, you can thank us for saving Nebby. He saved me while I was saving Nebby. Me too. It saved you as well, didn't it? And left you with that sparkling stone even though you're a stranger to this place. She's jelly. She wanted that stone. I suppose it's time we get you kids home, yeah? I suppose this is goodbye. It's not goodbye, it's see you later. Everybody knows that. I'm glad that they're eliminating the useless running and just kind of like teleporting us home. Rawr. Meowth is all about it. So he thought, she thought we wanted to stay in Iki Town longer, especially after the great battle, but she, but Mama Bro is pretty happy to watch us battle there, so maybe it'd be a good idea for you to try the Alan Challenge thing. Maybe it's something you can only do in Alola, right? But she's got a date with her bed, which is very sexual and really inappropriate. This is a child's game. Don't, I don't want to hear about what you're, uh, what you're hoping to do. She's saying nighty night. It's 2.30 here, so I'm... That sounds like a good idea to me, too, but I've had too many energy drinks. I'm too deep now, guys. 
the next day. Wow, do not open plastic bottles near the microphone. I know that's gonna be loud. Okay, what beautiful weather it is. It's very nice out there. Not here in the real world. It is freezing cold in my room right now. I wonder what today will bring me. She still hasn't done her boxes and she promised that she was going to, so she broke her promise. And once again, I need to answer the door and I know it's gonna be Kukui busting into this house without waiting for, oh no, I guess not. I suppose not. Oh, it's Lily. Good. See, she's polite. She waits for us to answer the door and come out. Oh, um, the professor said... He said, Hey there, Lily. Bring me that great trainer, Woo. So here I am to show you the way to this Pokemon Lab if you come with me. It's, um, it's this way. Geo. Here, a little pocket money for you. Don't go wasting it on anything too silly. Poke Yen. Oh, well done, Geo. You're making friends, aren't you? And the cute little lady friend you found. I knew Alola would be a great place for us. We just keep meeting wonderful people here. <laughs> Me? Well, thank you. Uh, my name's Lily. Very nice to meet you. Looks like it's finally your time to shine, sweetie. Enjoy yourself out there with Pop Leo and don't be gone too long. Mom, I'm never coming back until I beat the Elite Four. Or whatever equivalent they have in this game. You have a very nice mother, don't you? We should get going. I'll show you the Pokemon Research Lab. Drawing me on a little bit here, buddy, with the, uh, these really long... Is it down here? Yeah, I thought so. And then get to tall grass. He says the research, surrounded by Pokemon. Okay, so we got to get through the tall grass. Since she's not a trainer, she has to reply on using repels. She's going to give us some. And about Nebby. Oh, I mean, Cosmog. Cosmog seems to be a very rare Pokemon. It it came from far, far away. Pew! Nebby. Haha, <laughs> Nebby. It seems to have a very strange power. It used that power to save me once when I was in danger. But some people, uh, other people, want Cosmog for themselves to use that power. That's why only the Professor and Kahunahala and other people I can trust know about it. Can you keep a secret? Can you not tell anyone about Nebby or what happened on the bridge, please? I didn't promise anything. And I'm not going to promise anything. Uh, this looks like a trainer battle, probably. I'm wondering if this is like a, a drop down. You hop off here. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, this looks to be the lab. Pokemon Research Lab. So I wonder once he... Ooh, he's beating up a child. Oh yeah, Rock Ruff, let's go. Let's give it everything you got. My body is... Re <laughs> <laughs> no. They're making inappropriate sex noises in there. Ah, there they go again. <laughs> the Pokemon Research Lab has its own unique charm. I, th I think everyone agrees. I've actually been um, imposing on the professor in there for three months and not much of an assistant, but it's the least I can do to pay him back for letting me stay. Maybe I'd be more help for real Pokemon trainer too. Ruff, ruff, ruff. The professor, he never stops researching move, not even inside the lab itself. Looks like you have to go on the patch roof again. I have to wash his lab coat and finally gotten it clean too. Now it'll be in shreds. I'm no good at mending clothes, so he will just have to buy a new one. He doesn't really care much about clothes, Lily. That's one thing we've noticed. He kind of like takes them off all the time. That's a snubble. And I don't know what that other pink one was. Something new. He's laughing a lot. We got a love disc in the background there. Hey there, Gio. Thanks for getting... Of course. Oh, sorry. Of course. However I can help. I'm supposed to be your assistant, right? Rockworth's moves are just so styling and I was in making good progress with my research. Say, Gio, let me see your Pokedex for a second, yeah? So what do you think of this place? Not bad, right? 
But that's not why I called you here, eh? Here, it's finally arrived. It? What's wrong, Lily? Don't make me do all the talking. See the Pokemon inside your Pokedex called Rotom. <gasps> Wait, you gave me a Rotom? Oh, I can tell you about Rotom. It's a peculiar Pokemon with a body made up of something like electricity. It can take up residence in machines. Yeah, buddy. To put all kinds of crazy skill of Rotoms to work in the next generation of Pokedexes, but it's it's only complete once Rotom has gone into its body specially developed for it. A whole new way of computing. <laughs> That's awesome. There's only a few of these beauties out there in the world so far. Now if I just power up your Pokedex with parts just got in. What are you doing? That's the sound of a Rotom. That is a Rotom! Hey now, sorry about that Rotom, guess I surprised you. Rotom, here boy. I powered up your favorite Dex. Give Geo a helping hand here, yeah? Brap. That's the sound effect I assume we make. Okay, that is so cool. And now if we look at the bottom left screen here. See, Geo, now Rotom can talk right to you. From what I can tell, yeah, looks like Rotom's been taking a liking to you. And this will help how exactly? Geo hasn't been here in Alola too long yet, so I decided to give him a special Rotom Dex to help him navigate around. I said, nice to meet you. You can see where you're headed just by looking at Rotom. Give it a little tap. Can you check out the town map? Looks like Howe's here too. Alola! The salty breeze sang to me and brought me here to you. Whoa! Is that a loft? That's awesome! No, it's not. It's private. The professor has been kind enough to let me use it. If you see a person or a Pokemon who needs help, you just help them, right, Geo? How? That's why I'm letting little, little Lily stay up there in the loft. So, Geo, I'm leaving this Rotom Dex in your... Oh, so, Geo, I'm leaving this Rotom Dex in your hands. Rotom, take good care of Geo, yeah? Everyone's got to take good care of me. This is crazy. I'm going to go do the island challenge. The island challenge is your chance to become the strongest trainer around the island, guys. You want to be the island challenge champion, woo. It's a great adventure for you and your Pokemon to go on together. And they're just telling us that there's four main islands of Alola and a kahuna in each one of them. So they sound like gyms. If you wish to be recognized by the kahunas as worthy, it's said you must clear seven trials. This sounds a lot like gyms. Geo, I want you and Poplio to go out there and give it a shot. You're able to fully use your Pokemon's moves in the very first battle. I think you must have a talent for drawing out your Pokemon's strengths, yeah? Yeah, I'll do it. Oh yeah, as someone who dedicated my life to studying Pokemon moves, I really want to see you out there making all kinds of Pokemon on your island challenge. Here, everybody in the island gets one of these. Challenge amulets, so like gym badges. We got amulets, so they're just naming it different. Strap it on the bag. That's good because I thought it was always weird that in order to show people how good you were, you're like, look how many badges I've got. I got it in here somewhere. Yeah, and then they like open it. You should be able to just see it dangling on someone's backpacks. Hal got one from his grandfather. And, uh, all right. Let's get a move on. That is enough talking, honestly. It's a long road. We get it. There's something about the first step. Hal is ready to. He just wants to play with his Pokemon. And train them, right? The island challenge, that's the people with Lola collect with the world around them. Lily, she's going to take care of me also. Going to help me get used to Rotom. So she's going to be uh, sporting a little hello de duty every once in a while. This is a cool little pink Pokemon. we got a little cute rock ruff over there. This looks like a pink version of, like, Oshawott, doesn't it? Hidden, hidden room back there. I'm not going to go up into that loft because that's not really my place, but I do want to see what's down here in case there's something secret. And I feel like there probably isn't. There's a cool... Yes! Well, a Poliwhirl, more love discs. Picture some Pokemon I've never seen before on the screen. Got some books. 
physical moves. So the, actually, there is some stuff to learn there. So if anyone else is interested in that, I'm assuming it's pretty basic information. This is the starter town. So we're going to step outside and uh, I guess um, we're going to end this episode here and begin our next journey starting off uh, heading back up to heading back up to home and then uh, continuing off somewhere new. We're going to check out the Rotom decks and see what the world's around. So uh, stick with us for episode four. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time.